Assalamualaikum. Meet second engineer Bosnath Khan, working with leadership management, and with me standing my third engineer, Smart Orindam. Hi, this is third engineer Orindam. I am currently selling with Fleet Management Limited. So today I am going to show you the auxiliary engine fuel pump timing. Before uh, taking the measurement, we have to check this on board. We have the measuring tools and good working condition. And please read the manual. Once you see the procedure, it will be easy for taking this measurement. <coughs> this is the measuring tool. So checks the lever mobility is uh, <coughs> moving good. And this is the dial gauge to fit here. So, uh, so these tools will be fitted on the auxiliary engine frame where the camshaft cover top part there is a two bolt. So this two bolt will be the exact position to fit this. And this two point we have, this is the measuring point. The one point will be touch the bottom part of the roller guide and another point will touch the dial gauge. And when you will uh, fit this measuring tools correctly so it will be easy to take the measurements and you see this is already touched the bottom part of the roller guide one pointer this will touch the bottom part of the roller guide and that position we will put the dial gauge and dial gauge will put by compressed because uh, it will give us the measurement when we will rotate the camshaft so after fitting the dial gauge tightly we will set this dial gauge reading at zero position at zero yeah after set it to the zero so this is the unit number one we are taking the measurement so this cam position will be before 40 degree of tdc now we will start rotating the camshaft you, you can see there clearly camshaft is rotating so now the dial gauge will start give the reading so counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this is finally 8.9 so 8.9 means 9 so this is the final reading so where we have stopped the rotating we will we will check from the flywheel there is a marking according to the firing order this is the number one unit tdc point this is the maximum firing point this is the perfect procedure for taking the fuel pump timing thank you